this past week Oracle closed below the weekly buys level at 104 <clears throat> well didn't technically close below the level as of yet but it's in jeopardy of closing below it this week as you can see this extended red candle close at the bottom of the zone but there is good news for those Oracle back holders so Oracle held its AI executive forum on this past week custom focused event that showcased the company's AI prowess and strategy across its products according to Mazzullo who has a buy rating and $150 target on the stock said that while Oracle is currently building out OCI superclusters to satisfy the accelerating demand for AI workloads, they believe the current fiscal 24 revenue guidance doesn't include much contribution from the 4 billion plus of AI bookings. So here's what several analysts had to say regarding Oracle stock. With research, analysts maintain an outperforming rating and $140 price target on the stock. They say the key message is that there is no shortage of demand for AI services and Oracle is accelerating its innovation engine with new upgrades at every layer of the tech stack. JP Morgan continued to say Oracle's doing a solid job of marketing its platform capabilities into the emerging set of gen AI opportunities. They noted that demand is not the issue with growth in demand still exceeding growth in supply. Then you had Guggenheim. They declared that the event further validated something they have known for time. They have known Oracle. This is truly an innovative company that will create new technologies based on original ideas while also leveraging developments from the greater technical community to provide the best technology available for its customers. And then you had Goldman Sachs. Over the midterm, we believe Oracle's innovation in both OCI and cloud applications can augment its ability to achieve its fiscal 26 revenue target of 65 billion as gen AI features in SaaS drive on preliminary conversions and legacy displacements while AI services on the infrastructure layer support incremental share of new load. So as you can see multiple Wall Street analysts are bullish on the stock. Um, so you know this could be an opportunity to go long as price has pulled back from the all-time highs of roughly 128 again one analyst we saw had a price target at the 150 dollar level which is roughly 50 percent upside however you got to bear in mind potentially you do have a this reversal pattern this is a double top Let's clone that. However, I would like to say that, again, on the weekly chart, it might be better if we see it on the monthly chart. What was previous, what was the previous all-time high can serve as support. And again, I love round hole psychological numbers. Price is roughly uh, $2 below the $100 psychological number. So this is a good area if you were looking to get into Oracle and haven't been able to get into Oracle to go long. Now kind of looking at the daily chart, you can see that price did close below the 200 day moving average. So I would not buy first thing on Monday uh, I would like to see price action and see if it gives us any clues of a bottoming or if price is going to resume the downtrend line or is it going to reverse um, I would love to see price get above and close above the 200 day moving average um, and I would love to see some volume kick in uh, with the buyers bidding up price before considering going along again one analyst thinks that price can get to 150 that is a 50% upside Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.